Hey, real quick before the video starts, I just want to say that I know it's taken a while on these gas tank videos, and like I've mentioned before, I've come into a bunch of different holdups along the process. And to avoid making one super ridiculously long video about it all, I'm going to break it up into a couple videos. So here's the first one. Hope you enjoy. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Keith with the Tulsa Moto Club. And in today's video, we're gonna set up an electrolysis system. Now to get the project started, you'll need some supplies. I'm using some scrap metal, electrical wire, steel wire, copper wire, wire nuts, super washing soda, and a large container. The container size only depends on whatever you're trying to remove rust from. In my case, it needs to hold a whole gas tank, so I actually had to swap the clear one out for a larger one. Now the first step I took was to make the anodes. That's where the scrap metal comes in. The anodes will draw away the rust from whatever you're trying to remove it from once it's all up and running. In my case, I'm using rebar, but you can use just about any scrap metal. Since my tank is so large, I'm using four anodes, and I'm connecting all those to the container using copper wire, and then connecting all the anodes together using some electrical wire and wire nuts. Once that was all connected and ready to go, I filled it up with water and added in the super washing soda. I mixed about a half cup of washing soda for every five gallons of water that I poured into my tank. This ratio will change depending on what size tank you make for yourself, and I'm sure you can figure out how much you need with just a simple Google search. But if you can't find that out and you still have questions, you can always ask me down in the comments below. But now that this is all hooked up and ready to go and the water's in it and everything, all that's left for me to do is to drop in my gas tank and hook it up to power and watch it work. Now depending on the power source that you have connected to your electrolysis system and the size of whatever it is you're removing rust from and how much rust is actually on it, the time may vary on how much time you need. But once all the rust was removed from my gas tank, I pulled it out, gave it a rinse and a wash, and then made sure it was totally dry. That way I didn't have any kind of flash rust that would appear. And it's really that simple. You can also do this entire process within the gas tank itself. And I actually did that with the KZ tank. Now I did have a little trouble there with an old gas tank liner that was still in there. So I had to take care of that. And then I gave it another go with the electrolysis setup. Check it. 
Now at this point, both tanks are totally free of rust on the inside. Now all that's left is to give it one last rinse to make sure any loose particles are totally removed and get it totally dry. Now the SR tank does have a couple of dents in it and I will address those, but that'll be in the next video. To close this video out, since the tanks are dry, we're going to go ahead and throw in some red coat. This is going to seal up the tank and prevent any rust from forming while it sits and I finish the bike. Now as you saw I discovered a leak in the SR tank. I'm going to take care of that but that's going to be in the next video when I do all the body work. Now if you found this video helpful and you liked it make sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss any of my future uploads. But until then here are a couple other videos you can check out as well. And if you want more daily content remember that all my other social media will be linked down below in the description. As always thanks for watching. Later. Later.